Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel, my name is Luis and today I will be reviewing the AIMA A07 Pro. So first of all let me say that I'm no sound engineer, I'm no sound expert, so I'm just a guy who likes video, computers and audio. So I will give you my honest review of this device that was sent to me by Haima. Okay, so inside the box we can find the power supply, an antenna and the unit itself, okay? Okay, so first, talking uh, about the build quality, the case it's metal the knobs plastic but really really smooth and for this unit as you can see we have bass and treble also we can switch from RCA to Bluetooth 5.2 and on the back we have also line out that means you can connect to another amplifier or subwoofer we have the speakers connections, audio in and the antenna Bluetooth. Okay, so the power supply that came, it was the 36 volts, 6 amp. So depending on the, on the power supply you get, uh, you can achieve uh, until 300 watts so this amplifier is, is able to reach 300 watts if you have the 48 volts 10 amp power supply okay uh, during the video i will show from the im website a table with all the the supply power the speaker impedance the rate output power and the max output power so if you have doubts for the the output power of the unit you will be checking the the voltage required to achieve such power okay so this is the bluetooth connection so this is the remind you that this is the pro version so uh comparing to the aima a07 it doesn't have bluetooth it doesn't have the bass or the treble knobs and doesn't have the the output okay so the knobs really really smooth and i will be also comparing with the aima a07 because i have it and i like it a lot so I will be replacing my unit with this one because this one uh, can provide me with Bluetooth connection uh, without a dongle or any device attached to it. I can also control the bass and the treble. So here the AIMA A07 for comparison. And it was the, the actually the amplifier that uh, I'm using on my setup and in fact the, the sound quality is really good okay as i told you i'm not a, a sound expert but i can distinguish a bad quality amplifier with one that can provide you really good sound so just to say that this one uses the tpa 3255 from texas instruments so it's a well-known chipset with the quality on the market okay so it's reliable okay so comparing the sizes so all the other details will be passing on the on the screen so if i don't tell you something about the unit cannot always read from the screen
okay oh, also notice that uh, we can replace the OP amp chips so they are replaceable okay so let's have a look at the email website and remember the dot that all the information that uh, will be describing the, the amplifier will be passing through the, the screen. Okay, so here we have the AIMA A07 without Bluetooth, without output line or and without bass and treble knobs. And remember that to achieve the the, the three, 300 watt output you need the 48 volts and you can can have a look at all the other amplifiers so and this is the pro version okay so i will also be leaving links in the video description if you want to buy from so you can buy it from amazon and i will be leaving the links for, for different countries so during the video i will give you a, a sound test of course and I will do the connection by Bluetooth and all these descriptions are already passing through the the screen so I will not be reading everything okay and once again depending on the power supply you can reach the top output okay so as I told you it uses the TPH3255 from Texas Instruments which is a high performance class E power amplifier that enables true premium sound quality with class D efficiency. Okay, so I will be connecting the to the amplifier with my Akintosh, but first I did a test with my smartphone to see if it was easy to connect and it was a breeze okay so now i will leave you with a, a song from the youtube audio library and i will return after the sample and these are the speakers that will be that, that i have connected to the amplifier see you in a minute
Okay, so this was the, the sound sample. So now I'm going to open the unit and have a look inside. So you will be able to, to see the components on the motherboard and, and check uh, the heat sink and the kind of soldering, everything inside. So keep up with the video. Let me know what you think about this, this amplifier and what you don't like so I will be switching from the AIMA A07 to this one and of course I will keep the other one I will not sell it I will move it to another division of my house but this one will stick with this uh, setup which is my main setup that I used to produce my the videos uh, for YouTube and I spend the, the most of my time uh, and I will switch probably to switch the, the, the other amplifier to my secondary setup where I still have some other computers and I also have some some speakers so I will continue to enjoy the other the other amplifier because I really like it. I really like the quality, the sound quality. So I will not uh, get rid of it. I will keep it, but I will put this one as the main one. Okay. So here we have it. So this is the quality of the build. So if you know electronics, you can check the the kind of parts used and you can see the size of the heat sink and of course if you want to upgrade the, the, this is how you disassemble the unit and take it apart and then you remove these two final screws and you, you access the, the, the TPA 3255 so I hope you liked the video, if you did please give it a like, this is how YouTube tells, this is how we, we say to YouTube that you, you like the video so it, it, it should, more people should watch it, okay, so if you really liked give it a thumbs up and if you didn't like it let me know why, thank you very much and I catch you on a new one, bye bye.